Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in London in jolly old England having a great old time but we know that some tourists have a bad time because pickpockets get to them. So what I thought I'd go with today are some of the common ruses that pickpockets do use throughout Europe. So let's get started. Now the first thing you want to look at is what are some of the tricks on public transportation. Well one of the big things if you're taking the tube or the metro in Rome or in Barcelona you have it where they stand by the door and when the door is closed they kind of step out. But the thing is, they stand near the doors and they might have their hand in your pocket or their hand on your purse or something like that. And so by the time you realize they've got something, boom, the doors have already closed and they're gone with your stuff. So make sure if you're standing near you know, the doors and exits, pay extra special care with your belongings. Um, also, sometimes what you might see on the subway, you might see what we call crowding or grouping. Might be a group of like four or five guys or, or women or kids gathering around a tourist or something like that and then pickpocketing them while they're there or taking their bags. This actually happened to me when I was in uh, Lisbon. A bunch of guys surrounded me and literally I had to push off the back of the, the seat kind of thing to get out of the way because they were trying to rob me on the metro. So you really need to be careful because I know when you're on the, the tube and stuff like that you're used to being kind of smushed up but just because you're smushed up doesn't mean everyone's just smushing up to smush up. Some people are there for nefarious purposes. So make sure you are paying attention to that. And the thing is, anytime it's a crowded situation in the metro, you really should take care. Not just in the metro, but on the platforms, but also when you're going through the turnstiles. Places like Paris, you'll see that people will try to sneak in with you so they don't have to pay for their ticket. But that's a really big ruse where they go in and snatch people's uh, wallets and stuff like that when they go through with them. So make sure you're paying attention. Don't let other people come through you. And if they come through with you, because if they do, they probably have some of, something of yours to take with them. Uh, it's actually happened uh, in Paris, actually. These girls went in with my dad. Luckily, the police were there. They literally jumped on the girls right away. And the girls like, we have nothing. And they dropped all my dad's stuff on the floor. But since it was on the floor, they didn't have it, so they didn't get arrested. So just know, you really got to be careful. Any kind of, on public transport, any kind of, you know, stuffy situation, you, you are, you know, you could have some tough times. Also, along with that, you might have what we call, you know, they might slash your bag, and that's if you have a purse or a backpack. What they do is they just kind of cut the, the bottom of the bag and take stuff out of it, or cut it from the side and reach their hand and they get things. Because a lot of people will put their passport or their wallets kind of in the front part of their bag. So, you know, if you have a backpack like this, see mine doesn't have it, we have a thing on the back of our backpack. And so what they might do is they cut here, or they cut on the bottom, and then they'll get something out of there. And you might not realize it until later, especially if they cut the straps. Because what'll happen is, I know, this was in Rome, and we were, I was there with a friend of mine and her family. Her mom's bag had seven cuts in it because people were trying to cut her bag off it and take it. But she had a metal wire through it because she planned ahead, and that kind of helped her out there. Another thing in public transport where pickpockets like to work is at ticket kiosks. If you're going to be at a ticket kiosk getting things, using a card or money, look, you're probably a tourist, you're not sure what you're supposed to do, some helpful for, or some helpful local comes up to offer you help. You're like, oh, thank you so much. You're like, yeah, no problem. They'll help you get the ticket, you won't think anything about it, but the thing is, their buddy's working with them behind you, or maybe their hands are going into a bag while you're working on stuff, so you really need to be careful. Anybody that's trying to help you at one of those ticket kiosks, unless they're one of the uniform people, just say, no thank you. You can figure it out eventually. They have it in English and German and Italian and all those things, but just make sure you are paying attention at those ticket kiosks. Now when you're out and about, there's a few kind of pickpocketing common easy nails that they, they kind of go through on tourists around here. One is you have the bump. And this is one I see on Las Ramblas in Barcelona a lot. You know, the pickpocket will be coming along and actually bump into somebody and say, oh, excuse me, you know. You just think, oh, you don't think anything of, of it because, oh, they said, excuse me. And what pickpocket would actually say hi or excuse me? But when they did that, boom, they lift your wallet and they're gone. Okay, so anytime anybody bumps into you, do the like, little check, wallet, you know, watch, wallet, <laughs> you know, phone, is everything there? Because that's one of the easy things, you see the bump. Another thing you might see is, one, there's two variations of this. One, somebody's eating a hot dog or something and oops, oh I'm sorry, I got a little mustard on your jacket. Let me help you. So you take your bag off and your jacket and they clean it off. And they're like, oh sorry, and they're dressed nicely in a suit or something like that. And you say, oh well, and they're like, okay, we'll have a great time here in Barcelona, bye. And they'll walk away and when you look down, uh oh, your bag is gone very common one out there. Another version of this is when there's bird poop on you. 
it's them. They put the bird poop and they say, oh, excuse me, excuse me. You have a little, the bird poop on you. And you'll take your bag off and you'll take your jacket off or put your bag down. Boom. And it's not the person that says, hey, watch out. It's someone else. And so if you go to the cops, they'll be like, hey, the guy's like, I don't know. I was just helping. And they get away with it, okay? The cops I find in Europe aren't quite as go get them um, as they are in, in the U.S. with uh, pickpockets and things like that. So you really got to be on your on the ball here because most likely you're not going to get too much help. Now another thing you might see is the helpful tourists, and these kind of goes with that helping you get your at the kiosk, you know, getting your tickets. This could be other tourists that are helping you. Oh, are you looking for Big Ben in Parliament? Are you looking for Westminster Abbey? And they might be helping you, but the whole time they're sizing you up, either for themselves or other people. So do be careful if you do have overly friendly people, especially if you have people helping you with your bags. Maybe you're at the train station in Germany and you want to put the bags in a locker so you can go visit Nuremberg for the day. And oh, it's high up. Oh, so I'll help you out. And they put it in there, help you lock it Ow. up and everything. So okay, have a nice day. But they've seen, maybe they've seen your ticket number or they've got, they had to switch the key on you. And that's an easy way that people can get things. Another thing is when you're getting money out on your ATM, you might see people will come up to you while you're at your ATM. I know in France, there's always somebody sitting by an ATM so they can beg for money while you're getting your money out. Cause they're like, look, you have money right there. Look, when you're at an ATM, especially if you're feeling uncomfortable in the situation, see if you can find a bank that has an ATM inside the bank. Um, usually you're gonna be fine anywhere in Europe, but this is one of the things that pickpockets and thieves really do see. It's like, look, the person's there, I see how much money they have, I can get their wallet, I can get their thing. If they're not protecting their password when they put it in, I can get the password so I can get a lot more money. So you really need to be careful when you do it, go to the ATM. Make sure you're looking, make sure no one's paying attention. Also, when you're going shopping, if you're putting in your PIN number, when you're shopping, those people behind you might be recording it. So make sure you always do the little hand cover and put it in because it does make a difference. Another thing you'll see, and I've seen this in Spain and France a lot, is you'll see people ask you to sign a petition. Look, you're not from here. You're signing a petition, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they say it's for either. Just say, no thank you, and like what? You don't believe in no nuclear weapons and you don't believe in this or that? You just say, hey, I don't wanna get involved? Because the thing is, when they do that, they actually are watching you and seeing what you have. And sometimes I've seen it where the one arm that is holding the petition isn't a real arm. And the person is reaching out to the other side. I mean, it is crazy stuff like that. You got to really pay out, pay attention to. So people with petitions say, no, thank you. Another thing you might not think about where people are actually, you know, pickpocketing is when you see street performers. You're there seeing a band play or you're seeing, you know, people juggling or things like that. And the street performer may not have anything to do with it. But the pickpockets know that the tourists are there watching the juggler or the puppeteer or the musician and they're not paying attention to their stuff. So they become easy targets to pickpocket, okay? Now, there are tons of ways that pickpockets can work. I just want to give you a few examples. Other thing you want to be careful for, if you're going to cafes and restaurants and bars, putting your coats on your back of your chairs, easy things that they can do and grab. Another thing in bars where people are putting their coats up or putting on things, People will come by and take phones off tables and you never know because the club's busy and there's bars and people are drinking and sometimes you're like, did I leave my phone somewhere? So those issues. And really what I wanna say, when it comes to pickpockets and thieves when you travel, you need to be vigilant all the time, okay? I'm not saying be freaked out like, oh, everyone's trying to get me, but make sure you are keeping your sense about you. You know, use your, put your wallet in your front pocket. If you're gonna be going out for the day, use the safe in the hotel to lock up your passport or, or uh, extra money or things like that so you don't bring into those extra things with you so you don't make yourself more of a target. Anyway, I hope that helps you know a little bit more of the ruses that some pickpockets use. I have another video, nine reasons why you got robbed while you travel, so how they see you. Also, we have another video on where do pickpockets work, so you can learn a little bit more so you can be safe. And we have a lot of videos on safety, tra safety and traveling for different situations on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And we really hope nothing's happened to you when you've traveled. But if it does, we actually have a video on what to do if you are robbed when you do get, when you do travel. So anyway, I'll say bye from London. I hope you have a great time traveling and I hope this video is never anything you have to worry about. So uh, great travels and safe travels. Bye from London.